Hello, this is Stefan from Conductor. And just a quick lecture on what is Zookeeper and how it's using Kafka and Conductor. But it is, I can tell you right now, already deprecated and Zookeeper is doomed to go away. So don't linger too much on this lecture. So Zookeeper right now for Kafka 2.x is going to manage a list of brokers for your Kafka cluster. And Zookeeper will also help in performing leader election for partitions and it will send notifications for Kafka brokers in case of changes in your cluster, such as new topic, a broker dies, a broker comes up, the topic is being deleted, this kind of stuff. So Kafka version 2.x cannot work without Zookeeper. Kafka version 3.x, which is about to come out, can work without Zookeeper, which is KIP 500. It will use the Kafka Raft as a in replace in broker replacement for Zookeeper instead, but it will have both a Zookeeper and a non-Zookeeper mode as part of Kafka 3.x. And then Kafka 4.x will not have Zookeeper. And so by then, Zookeeper will be completely gone and everything will be done using Kafka brokers. So Kafka uh, Zookeeper is going away for Kafka, by the way, so that Kafka can have both more operational simplicity, but also, uh, also have more scalability, more topic partitions, and faster recovery times. So... Right now, we still need to have Zookeeper though. So Zookeeper by design will operate with an odd number of servers. So one, three, five, seven, and three is a very common number of Zookeeper servers you have. Zookeeper has a concept of leader to take in writes and the rest of the servers are going to be followers to serve reads. And it used to be that back in the days, Zookeeper was storing consumer offsets for Kafka, but a while ago already, I'm becoming old with Kafka, but a while ago, um, Kafka moved the consumer offsets to a Kafka topic, and so consumer does not store offsets no matter what you see written on the web. So let's take an example. Zookeeper is going to have a leader, a few followers, and then the Kafka brokers are going to be connected to your Zookeeper cluster to be able to be managed. Very, very simple, and I don't want to spend too much time on it. So Conductor can use Zookeeper for a few administrative operations on older clusters, so while the APIs are not migrated. So we will detect these operations automatically. Um, mainly, it is used to reassign partitions in Kafka, so we'll use Zookeeper for that. And most of these admin operations already have been added as Kafka APIs, and so when they're all added, then Zookeeper is going to go away. This is KIP 500. And so our recommendation is to specify Zookeeper and Conductor only if needed and not to expect much from it. And my bigger recommendation is for you to upgrade Apache Kafka as soon as possible to make sure that you do not have to use any operations with Zookeeper at all. But I'm going to show you right now, if you needed it, how to set up Zookeeper in Conductor. So let me log out of my cluster and I can edit the cluster configuration. And if I wanted to set up Zookeeper, but we say it's deprecated, we will just say localhost 2181 test the Zookeeper connection, and it says, okay, so Zookeeper is set up, and you click on save, and then you would have Zookeeper set up for your cluster, and we show you a little icon right here. But again, this is deprecated, so hopefully you do not have to go ahead and use this.